What is up everyone? Welcome to the finale of what has been such an amazing video series comparing every single Pelican Halo Mega has ever released. Spanning the last month or so, we've been through four different Pelicans of deep dives that have brought us to this point here, where it's finally time to decide which Pelican is the greatest Pelican of all time in the Halo Mega line and which one you should be buying now. Before going over the basics of this review and what we're going to be doing today, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you supporters out there who have gotten me above a thousand subscribers. I literally cannot express how thankful I am for this opportunity to make videos and have even just a thousand subscribers. It's been incredible. With that said, today's giveaway I'm going to be talking more about at the end of the video, so stay tuned until that one, but I'm so excited to give back to you guys, even if it's just in a small way, so hopefully those lucky winners at the very end will enjoy whatever they get. Each one of these pelicans has amazing features, details, and minifigures, but we really have to name our favorite one. Today we're going to be talking about three different categories to help us decide which one's the greatest and which one you should buy. With all that, our first category is one of the most important categories, my favorite part of any Halo Mega set, the minifigures. And these minifigures do not disappoint. In total, we have 15 minifigures from all four of these sets, each pelican coming with a variety of different minifigures that fit different styles of Halo and different arrows. Each pelican comes with at least one minifigure that is completely exclusive to that pelican. Thus, these really have stacked figure lineups, but which one truly is the best? Let's find out now. In our number one slot, we have the figures from the original Halo Mega Pelican, coming with two Spartan 2s that are just in regular armor, one Hayabusa in yellow, completely exclusive to the set, and one pilot figure from Halo 2 that is also completely exclusive to this set. The benefit of these figures are these two exclusives, the Hayabusa and that pilot. They are amazing looking figures and both add a unique style to this Pelican. The problem? These figures are all older style. For some, that may not be enough to kick this Hayabusa out of the running. It is a fantastic looking figure and an armor set that we will never get again from Halo Mega. But with the amount of Hayabusa armors made from Mega, this one falls short of greatest, unless your favorite color is yellow. That said, the best figure of the set truly has to be the Pilot, a figure that has not been remade in any other colors nor in any other styles. This is the only Halo 2 Pilot we have ever gotten, and it looks perfectly accurate to the source material. This Pilot is special, but it's not quite as special as the figures from the Halo 4 Pelican. With these figures, we are seeing a trend arise of four figures for a Pelican, and we do get some amazing figs in this one still in that old art style, but a little bit more detail. While the armors for our Spartans may not be exclusive to this set, they are completely exclusive in this coloration, which is double what we get with the original Pelican. On top of that, our main focus Spartan Sarah Palmer, while may not be named, is perfectly detailed and accurate to what you see in the game. Crown jewel of these figures though, the Light Up Knight that lights up when you move it around or hit it on the ground. It is a super special figure and it's an awesome benefit that we got this with four figures in total. Which would then bring us to the figures from the NMPD Pelican. These figures pack a mighty punch with an awesome looking chieftain, a really good Mickey, and two other NMPD soldiers, which are decent enough. These figures, however, aren't very unique, and while they are technically exclusive to this set in the way that they are printed or painted, these figures can be found elsewhere in other variations very easily, especially Mickey. The Chieftain and Mickey were crown jewels of this set, but at this point the Chieftain is outdated and shorter than the Marines, which just doesn't look good, and unfortunately Mickey has come in a newer 20th anniversary character pack set, which the new one looks much, much better. With that said, the Chieftain in the set is the absolute standout, looking amazing in this painted detail with his gravity hammer and is just a fantastic minifigure. This figure would have been absolutely perfect and maybe edged out the entire rest of the competition if it hadn't been made in the older art style and given other issues that I've talked about in my review. This figure lineup is really good and edges out for a close second, but those Halo 4 figures are still holding on strong. But can our most recent figures edge out for the win? Unfortunately, probably not. After having voiced my issues with these figures on my review, I will spare you the most minute details while also explaining why these figures just don't make the cut. First and foremost, this comes with three figures, the least amount we've gotten in any Pelican, yet this Pelican was the most expensive out of all of them. On top of that, these figures are hardly special, with a Master Chief that's difficult to tell apart from the competition, a pilot that is too tall, and a hunter that is just sort of a hunter. It's nothing special compared to the other hunters that we've gotten from the Banished. 
I am genuinely surprised, but the Halo 4 Pelican takes the minifigure category. Category winner, Pelican Gunship. The NMPD Pelican is a very close second, as well as the original Pelican, but unfortunately the newest one lacks very heavily in the minifigure department. From there, it's time to talk about the builds of these Pelicans in the features category. The features includes the different elements of each Pelican, including moving parts, gimmicks, and more. Let's see who comes out on top. Talking first about swooshability, the newest Pelican is very swooshable. However, it is very heavy and can fatigue the fingers fairly easily. It can be held from most places without feeling like it's going to snap, which is nice, but the NMPD Pelican is just a little bit smaller, so it's a lot easier to hold and is very sturdy. The weight is a little bit more evenly distributed, so it is very swooshable. The gunship is girthy and has a few pieces poking out that will actually jet into you if you aren't careful. It's just not the greatest experience with the swooshability on this one. Holding it from the back also makes it feel like it's going to snap, so I wouldn't recommend holding any of them from there, but especially not this one. The OG Pelican is definitely the best when it comes to sociability. It is the lightest and the easiest to hold with better gaps for your fingers, and it's just much more fun to fly around. It is very, very easy to hold this thing from wherever you want to, and you can even hold it from the back without it feeling creaking and like it's going to snap in half. Gimmick-wise, only two of our Pelicans stand out as having large gimmicks, including the Halo 4 Pelican with the lights and sounds, and the Halo Infinite one, which can split open to reveal a pretty decent interior. However, unfortunately for these two, these features do not outweigh the issues with the landing struts, which in one cause a headache and the other will break over time. Good for the NMPD Pelican, as it does the landing struts perfectly with great amount of friction. However, the original one didn't have any at all. Each Pelican's wings and boosters in the back all move in about the exact same way. That is except for the Halo 4 Pelican, which elected to have these back ones that only spin. It's less movement and doesn't look very good. So the Pelican with the least amount of problems, but the most amount of features is the NMPD Pelican. Not only does it come with a giant display, but it also has a lot of features that the rest of the Pelicans do, but it does them well without having many issues. Even the ramp from the NMPD Pelican is better than the new one, more accurate and easier to use with figures. So I think we have ourselves a winner. Category 2, Winner. Our final category will be focused on the design of each of these pelicans. Now, they are each differently unique, and each are made to represent different games. However, the goal of this is going to be determining which design is the best design for display, despite different designs from different games. The original pelican definitely has a fantastic design, especially for the time it was made. This is a pelican that looks good even today. It does show its age in a few different areas, mainly the use of many stickers to get the job done of the design that they wanted to go for, as well as the cockpit being slightly off color compared to the rest of the pieces. There are definitely a few flaws, such as the pieces on the front that easily break off. However, the majority of the build is very good and is very reminiscent of most of the original Halo games. It has a great display presence, however shows its age with the gaps between the wings and the gaps between the back of the wings to the body. They are just a little too big to be what the Pelican should be. Those gaps is something that the Halo 4 Pelican improved upon, being able to hide them much better while still keeping the safe movement in the front of the wings. This Pelican is very different than the others, but rightfully so. It is meant to model a different type of Pelican from a different era of Halo. However, this Pelican doesn't hit the mark and fails to represent Halo 4's design. Their design is extremely rounded, and thus made it difficult for Mega to recreate what it's supposed to be. Thanks to 343, this pelican looks like an ostrich, and looks like it could barely even get off the ground. It looks bad, and unfortunately, Mega's design couldn't even make it look as bad as it should. With that, the NMPD pelican is an absolute beauty. Unfortunately, however, problems from the original pelican have resurfaced, including the miscoloring of the cockpit. Unfortunately, the gap issue in the back still remains, but in the front has been rectified. The pelican does a great job at representing nearly exactly what we see in the game, including even the bottom light that is connected very nicely this time. Even the intakes on the winglets are represented here with a printed tile. That's really good effort. The effort was accentuated with the Halo Infinite Pelican that looks absolutely stunning. However, this one isn't perfect either. Unfortunately, when closing the cockpit, it can often get caught on the pieces surrounding it and push them out of place. On top of that, we have pieces that don't stay in place and are often easily moved to places they're not supposed to be. There are also small gaps due to the way that Mega designed this in order to incorporate a play feature. However, the piece used for the cockpit is absolutely stunning. It is the best piece that we have ever seen in this cockpit and it color matches with the rest of the build. No movement has been lost in the wings, yet the gaps have been completely done away with both in the front and in the back. 
The shape of the pelican looks absolutely stunning and can fit not only in Halo Infinite, but in any of the original Halo game eras. You could say this pelican was from Combat Evolved or Halo Reach and you wouldn't be able to tell. Any Halo fan who played the older games can see this thing and know what it is from a mile away. While I love the design of these two pelicans and the original one, I have to go with this newest pelican as the best one for our design category. It's honestly just a fantastic design that's perfect for display, especially at its price point. This is a set that is tailored toward a more mature audience, and thus they had to make it really, really good. And they did. It looks great. It may have some flaws on the mechanical end, but really, it's a very good looking pelican and can fit in almost any display. It's also large too, which is a big step forward. Design category winner. So that brings us to our final decision of what pelican truly is the best pelican and the best one that you can buy. Honestly, I'm surprised that our category winners came out the way that they did. I didn't think Halo 4 pelican would win at all, and I certainly thought that the NFPD pelican would be the one that I have in front of me right now. But fortunately for this pelican, this one outshines the NFPD one in every way when it comes to design, and is a very close second with those features. I think that this pelican truly is the greatest pelican you can buy, especially right now for the price. You can find this on Amazon for sale most of the time, and it's truly an amazing looking pelican. It's certainly not without its flaws, but this is indeed our winner. Congratulations to Mega. They made a pelican that is incredible and looks great on display. With all that said, let's talk about the reason why you're here, our giveaway. To give back to you guys for a thousand subscribers, I wanted to give away something special, and while this isn't much, I'm going to be doing two winners for this giveaway. Winner number one will have the choice between this LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack right here, or these three Halo Mega Blind Bags. The second winner will get whatever is not chosen. I'll be doing a giveaway every once in a while when you hit these milestones, but I am just so thankful for all of you who have gotten me to a thousand subscribers and beyond it will be an amazing adventure and we're not going to stop making videos this is going to keep happening to enter into the giveaway what you're going to want to do is three things number one is be subscribed to this channel obviously number two is like this video and number three is comment down below your favorite pelican from this category list and which category was your favorite and as well as what you want me to compare next this can be lego star wars or halo mega or anything out in the lego mega universe I would love to hear your input, and that will help me a lot with not only making videos in the future, but find those comments. I'll be picking winners at random through the comments in about a week, which will be March 2nd. So you have until March 2nd to get subscribed, like this video, and comment down below, and hopefully you'll win one of these two. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This has been the Mr. Woody Pelican finale. Peace.